It's a new day. While I look like I'm dressed the same, I promise it's just the outer two layers. I finished the walls yesterday. Today, I think I'm gonna take care of our shelf. I've seen a couple of videos online that break down the true trial and error nature of uh, what is building the shelf. So I'm gonna try and tackle it. Um, I'm using a half inch birch ply. So it should be pretty sturdy. I've got uh, I've got four angle brackets and um, a lot of time today. So that's the plan. Let's see how impossible this is. I'm certain you guys have already figured this out as well. This is by no means an instructional or a how-to channel. Basically, I just imagine that I'm able to cover kind of the gist of what I'm doing. I'm really not a teacher at heart. I don't have the patience for it. So uh, I try and share as much of the how and the why uh, as, as I possibly can while still being able to maintain and finish a project in a timely manner. So we're gonna be measuring up here. I've already got uh, somewhat of a template started by way of a piece of polystyrene board and um, I got these cool little clips taken off already. Easiest way to do those is to kind of give them a wiggle, take a flathead screwdriver and pop them off from there. And we've got some Torx bits that we're gonna have to take out of the arm handle here, that little section there, and shimmy some stuff in. So shouldn't be too difficult, I hope. I got you this square of wood. Oh, thanks, Bubba. It's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what would I have done to have deserved that? Merry like, Christmas! I feel like Edward Scissorhands. You ever seen that movie? Yeah, that's a great movie. The end of it, he's like... So that'll give us something to start on, and then we'll actually have to yeah. curve these as we go along, too. You want me to try? Yeah. You say it's try and error, so <laughs> I might be the error. <laughs> try not to mess up too bad. Sunshade, catching a sweet tan. Do you guys remember everything we did? Just scratch that part. We did it all wrong. We didn't do it all wrong. <laughs> We're gonna have to redo it. That means that we did it wrong. That doesn't mean that we did it wrong. It was too short. So Chase has this an this idea of doing it with the reflecting and kind of like creating a pattern. Am I right? Yep. So that way, then we come back. And with that pattern, we will cut the actual piece of wood. Yep. That's the plan, no? Yeah, that's the plan, Stan. What were you doing? <laughs> huh? I don't know what you're talking about. I saw you look back. You're probably doing it again. I can see your reflection off of this. You were. <laughs> no, I was not. What was your fault? Well, that's a success. 
You, you think so? I think so. I can see a little daylight out of it. Let me see. No. No? No. Yeah, you can. Where? Up here. Maybe I'm short. No, no, no. No, no! Oh, I guess a tiny little bit, but there. Friends, I cannot believe that Chase haven't shown you our new fridge. This is actually the fridge we're gonna have. Um, it is an isotherm. I don't know the info. <laughs> what is the info in the fridge, Chase? CR130. It's an isotherm CR30, right? CR130. CR <laughs> it is an isotherm CR130. It's actually pretty big. Um, it's a stainless steel, right? Yeah. Yep. And Chase actually already connected to the batteries to see how the batteries charge it, how's it looking, blah, blah, blah. And it's running. It's running. And I'm gonna show you right now, proof of it. Look at all the space we got in there. A cold like crow I, hi I hide in here. beautiful people Chase is somewhere getting ready to start working in the van what are we doing today that's the question of the million dollars we're framing am I excited yes am I looking forward yes do I feel like doing it today no <laughs> so yesterday we run to Lowe's and pick some 2x2 two two and 2x4s to start with the framing hopefully our layout will work we have to double measure things and start building the frame. Chase, are you excited for framing? I don't know. See? Mixed feelings. I feel the same way. Let's get this thing going and you will come along with us. We hope you learn something new or you feel inspired to start your own build or you just come to hang out with us. Let's do it. Okay, so we have to cord at, cut at 72. Right there. You ready? Yeah. Friends, clearly it's the next day and you might be wondering what happened yesterday, you guys were gonna be framing yesterday and we didn't. And that's because we realized the layout we had planned will work, but it will be too much. Would you say that's the truth? It was gonna work, but it was gonna be a little tighter than uh, we would have preferred to have. So we've decided to throw an audible and make the layout still extremely functional still what we want but i think our dreams of having enough room to seat 10 or 12 people in the back of the van are going to be kind of lowered to enough seating for six seven eight people so we're going to remove some of the six seat. tight we're going to remove some of the seating today we're going to be framing the wheels yeah, we're, we're about to box around the wheel wells. That way that can be functional and usable space. And then we're going to start working on some of the sofa and Frames. other sorts of framing. So you will be able to see our new idea, yes. I need you to measure... How tall and how long. Yeah, how tall and how long. And so for maybe... this, it would probably just be best on this one to go this tall uh -huh. and from here to the other side. That way we can still screw it into this. Okay. Okay? Okay.
It worked. Job. I love this thing. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up for today. We're likely not going to get too much else accomplished this week. Um, what we've started is part of our seating area. The secondary part of the seating area will be going this direction. Um, Maria Jose mentioned it earlier today. Um, we've decided that the U-shaped sofa along with the wall-mounted Murphy bed will likely not be able to happen. And that's okay. Um, so what we've done is we've thrown an audible. We're doing an L-shaped sofa with more of a um, armoire style, storage below, Murphy bed on top, and we'll still have more than enough seating for um, having friends over, for us just being comfortable in the van. And it'll open up a little bit more floor space underneath for both of the dogs. So we're excited about that. Um, we also changed what we're gonna be doing for the table a little bit as well um, instead of having a modular um, three level gas uh, assisted table we've decided to go with the lagoon mount we do know many people who absolutely love their lagoon mounts so we think that's something that that we've gone back and forth on that we're going to incorporate in the build now so we've already received the lagoon mount it's just kind of determining where we want to put everything so we've got some thinking to do we also have some pretty exciting news about the bus you know that we've sold it by now hopefully um, if not well we sold the bus we got some stuff coming up with uh, with it here shortly so hang out for that and then we'll get right back to the uh, to the van build so thanks for hanging in there it's coming together